Hello, fair ladies and yet fair uh, gentlemen. It is I, Philip Magnus, and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the darkest of dungeons. It is horrible, it is dark, and it is sometimes even quite rather grisly. This time around, I'm just going to take on a completely new team of folks, and hopefully, I won't balk it up awfully. As you see, we are passing right now through the very important and very useful phase of this particular game where we are buying lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Hopefully we are not going to buy too few items or too many. How have you been? Hmm? Why don't you share in the comments? Well... No? Okay. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. Anyway, this is the first time I'm actually going to try out both the Houndmaster and the Abomination. So I'm actually quite rather excited. Let's see, we've got 750 gold, gold which is actually quite a good start, I'd say. No monstrosities of any sort, eh? Ah, but there is a battle to come. Let's see then. Well done, Hound Master. You impress so far. Let's see if you're as useful in battle as you are in disabling traps. Hopefully, you will be. If not, well, that would be kind of bad. They're all surprised, which means that we have a good chance to... Hmm... Let's see what we can do with manacles. I don't yet want to transform, you see. Abyssal artillery. This could be quite useful. I suppose it will bring me some... No, actually it won't bring me any stress at all. Some of the occultists' the skills, they do that, you know. Let's see. I think we are going to bite into our enemies. Good job. And they are all bleeding now. Even better. It's a solid start, I won't lie. Because the spider is going to get a hit. Perhaps there was a way for me to avoid that. But hey. I will suffer through it like a big boy. Let's see, stress heal and heal. Yeah, that's actually kind of useful. This abomination fellow, very nice. Very, very, Another very nice. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And we got quite the loot indeed. An antique suit of armor stands amidst the ruins. Yeah, sure. Excellent. 10 dodge and 15% protection. Good things happen to those who stumble upon old pieces of night equipment, I suppose. Plenty. Ouch. Did not see that. Ancient traps lie in wait. That was entirely Those unnecessary, I assure you. For blood. But hey, this game is full of unnecessary suffering, isn't it? And we love it for that. We've got two battles into the next room alone. That is going to get nasty quickly, isn't it? The point of this particular campaign is indeed to explore 90% of the room. So battle or no battle, I'm going to be doing plenty. Oh my. I like that. Let's see then, what can we do? Hmm, rage. Well, that is not impressive, not at all. Hopefully he will be able to redeem himself because I really don't like losers. Ouch. 
Well, he's a big target, so I would only expect something like that. Let's see then. As the fiend falls, Actually, Stanley the fiend hope is blossoms. quite useful with this spell of his. Stress heal. Mm, no, I don't think I need that for now. But if I can take the bone arbalist out of my way, which I failed it, and he won't bleed because he is naturally a corpse that I'm supposed to bleed. Oh. I see. Let's see then. Slam. Be gone, fiend. Impressive. Very strong me likey. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And we continue on. Getting stronger and stronger. I'm very pleased with Another this fight. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. So, as you see, using the abomination too often could cause everyone to go horribly, terribly insane. So I should probably use it with victory. a certain amount of care. If I don't want my teammates getting hard attacks or becoming abusive, helpless, and the other vicissitude of fun things which may or may not happen once your characters reach a hundred stress points. Broken. Maintain the offensive. All good in health, all good in stress. Let's try and take the burn coat here. And we manage that with absolute perfection. Ouch. And another ouch. Ouchie, times two. No. I like how the bone soldier is stronger than the bone rubble. I suppose it's only logical. The fact that both of those characters have self heal is a very large plus to me. I really like characters who can sustain themselves rather well, which means that I can indeed do a lot more damage with Stanley and any other characters whom I am forced to usually use for their healing potential instead of damage. When, as you've seen so far, Stanley actually has quite a lot of both if he hits his skills well. It's all RNG, so... I'd try. See, a solid 7 quite good. Mm, doggy missed. Poor doggy. Man dog and dog man. This is so illogical. Why did I name him that? As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's see then. Ah, key hidden reward for a task well performed. I want to check something. No. Because a few few weeks ago, and by few weeks ago I mean a few in-game weeks ago, I remember unlocking Ouch. Is he sick now? Yeah. Bulimic. I remember unlocking this awesome thing, this strong box, the promise of and after safety. I unlocked it, I went back to the room and I could check the strong box again, which really made me quite curious. Yeah, I think that if I can check those two rooms, I will be finished with the quest and there will be no need for me to go back. And if I have to go back, so Packs be it. I will do it. Loot are often low on supplies. Yes, indeed. Whoops. A trap. Let's get our trapper to disarm it, and he did once again. Excellent job, man dog. You are a paragon among your peers. 
Nothing. Ah. Let's see then. Must we go back? No, we must not. And indeed, we shall return to Hamlet. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Hey, whatever you say, dead ancestor. Ancestor? What? Since when am I into football? Hey, hey, get it? Because it's a Manchester United joke, no? Okay, okay, that was good, that was fun. A fun little run. My obsession caused this great foulness. Uh -oh. And it is shameful what that I that must mean? rely upon you to set it He's right. He's gone on a personal vision quest to achieve an enlightenment. Well, that's useful, Alexander. Thanks for, you know, going off on your own without leaving a note or anything. You could have let Angie know you were all good at least. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And if you too did, um, I guess you should probably like this video, share it, and maybe, just maybe, if you want more, subscribe. Why? Because I would really appreciate it. Okay, thanks, bye!